Hi, Michel Bleteau here from Beyond Trust. Welcome back to my channel. So today what we're going to look at is a quick demonstration of the integration between uh, Secure Auth and Beyond Trust. So we're going to look at the integration using two uh, Beyond Trust products, Password Safe uh, and Power Broker for Windows. Um, so first, you know, you need to obtain um, uh, an account uh, from, from Secure Auth. And then you'll need to download the app on, on your mobile, either from the App Store, Apple App Store or Google Play. You need to scan uh, the, the barcode here. You're going to get um, a verification code that you need to input into the registration page, a registration portal for Secure Out, and then you should be ready to go. So first, let's look at the configuration that is required to support our worker password safe. Um, so this is uh, my Beyond Inside console here, and uh, I created a Radius um, configuration here. You know, we're using Radius to integrate with, with uh, Secure Auth, so fairly standard. Uh, that's my Radius OS. I need to select PAP for the uh, authentication mechanism. I'm using the default part right now, 1812, and I'm using forward username and password as the option. So that's the first step here. Uh, second step you need to create a group. I created a local group called Secure Out. I could have also created an Active Directory group. Um, and you need to provide some, some permissions for, for that group. So just some basic permission here to allow my users to be able to uh, request some managed account. So granted some basic roles uh, requester with my default access policy here. And my account here that is uh, going to be used uh, for for the demonstration to log in into the password safe UI. So I'm uh, using again a local account, could be an Active Directory group or an LDAP uh, or account or an LDAP uh, account. And um, I'm setting up the two-factor authentication uh, to use uh, Radius here, and I'm only specifying the account that is a match for the account that secure at, uh, uh contains uh, from for uh, from my demonstration here so i have an account called beyond trust one in my secure at configuration so now i'm ready to uh, move to my uh, desktop here i'm just gonna launch a browser point to my password safe and now i can log in using my account and my password and none for domain because I'm using a local account. So if I click again, now it's offering me four different options. So uh, one is SMS, uh, two is basically uh, requesting Secure Out to send an OTP uh, password to my phone. Um, I can also, uh, actually two, two is a phone call. Three is send the OTP to the phone. Um, and uh, four is a uh, send login request to phone, which is a request I need to approve on my mobile. Number two is actually a, a call that I would receive. Somebody would basically tell me about my OTP password, the six digit pin uh, over the phone. Let's select one for now. If I select one, what's happening now, I'm receiving on my mobile an SMS message with the six digit uh, OTP pin. And uh, I'll show you a screenshot in, in, in a few seconds here. But um, as soon as I receive uh, my PIN, I can input that PIN and I'm going to be allowed inside my uh, password safe portal. So my PIN has been received. Just going to enter it. I'm going to show you a screenshot in a few seconds so you, you see what it looks like. And I'm in. So I can navigate my password safe uh, page here, look at all the managed accounts that are available for me. And if I just quickly show you a screenshot, it's a standard uh, SMS message with the six digit pin here that I received. So nothing very fancy. Uh, I could also show you uh, some of the other options, but uh, I'll save that for uh, the second portion of my demo for Power Broker for Windows. So now let me show you the configuration for Power Broker for Windows. I'm going to use uh, my uh, policy editor here, group policy editor. First step is to configure the uh, multi-factor authentication. It's very similar to what I just configured in, in Beyond Inside for password safe. And you probably want to increase the timeout here from the default of 10 seconds. So you have the time to explain, you know, uh, 
what what you you're, you're showing when you're performing a demonstration of the integration. Um, you don't want the request to time out on your mobile while you're trying to explain what's going on. Uh, second, you need to configure a user message. So I have a secure at user message here. So you need to enable multi-factor authentication. Uh, you can also provide a custom message body here. I'm basically explaining the four methods that are available um, for uh, for the multi-factor authentication. And after you have that in place, the last step is to configure either um, a privilege identity rule, or you could also use a risk and compliance rule. And I created a simple one here for print UI, uh, which is a, 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 an out of the box tool on my Windows desktop. So if I just quickly click on modify, it's associated to my secure at user message and it's just a standard path folder rule for uh, elevating uh, access to provide admin rights for, for this application. So I'm just gonna switch back to, uh, to my desktop here and I'm gonna double click on my print UI shortcut. And now, as you can see, um, it's showing me the user message I configured. So I can provide my password And I'm going to select four this time. Send a login request to phone. I'm going to click OK. And now I'm getting a request on my phone. Again, I'll show you a screenshot in a few seconds. I'm just going to go to my mobile, take a look at the request, approve it. And now I'm in. So print UI has been started. And let me show you quickly the uh, screenshot of, uh, of uh, what it looks like on my phone. So this is the request that I got on my phone. So I could either approve a request uh, or deny this request. And I decided to approve it. So that's why I, I, I got into Print UI. So that concludes um, my quick demonstration for today, um, showing you uh, a few use cases uh, around the integration between Securat and Beyond Trucks. Uh, so uh, thanks for watching and uh, until next time, uh, have a good day.